tier, we decided to switch over from mooting competition to client consultation competition in order to encourage alternative dispute resolution mechanisms and penchant for that in the legal students of whole of India. So we have had more than 35 members participate here and we did it in collaboration with South Asian Clinical Law Teachers Association very recently. The other one is a crowning glory for the Symbiosis Law School and for the uh, law universities in India. This is the International Criminal Law Trial Advocacy Moot. Most of the time, we depend on Hague's International Criminal Law Academy, uh, Criminal Law Court to conduct these competitions and only one law school could bid for this competition. We, with the help of our alumni who work as prosecutors in the International Criminal Court, thought that let's create a new genre of competition. So we have had this competition which had very selected top 20 uh, invited entries. So this year we have had 28 entries which includes six foreign universities. Last year we had four foreign universities. So this shows that we are trying to innovate the competitions as well as participation of students. Law students are going to be invigorated in terms of responding to the unmet legal needs of this nation. Some of the highlights of our student achievements, all this will definitely result in some outcome. That's what you would see in this slide. Our students this year clinched the Philip Jessup International Law Moot Competition as runner -up, in runner-up position. So they will be going to represent India in Washington DC soon. Our students qualified for the 20th Steps in International Environmental Law Mood Competition on behalf of India. Our brilliant student Aishwarya Amar registered as the 8th best oralist in the world. Aside from that, our students topped the India rounds to represent India at the SARC Mooting Competition. One of our students is just undergoing a competition to be identified as the best law student of the year in India. Uh, under the same ages of Madhva Menon Sark Law Moot. Now we have the pride in sharing with you that one of our alumnus, uh, alumni, uh, Honorable Justice Sangeet Rao S. Patil has made us proud by being the third judge uh, being uh, uh, inspired from this law school to become the High Court judge in Mumbai High Court. So this is our third entry to the judiciary of the High Court. I hope that in my lifetime, as the Lord Dean, I will see one of our old students becoming the Supreme Court judge soon. Now, the grand events were many, but I would just like to highlight the most innovative grand event. Next slide, please. Ah, this is the one. Uh, now, here we have a quiz on Indian constitution and history and political. We were hosting the regional round, uh, and our students were one of the winners. Honorable Justice Fansalkar of the Mumbai High Court was the chief guest, and she was judging as well. Uh, we have had the Nani Palkiwala Memorial Intercollegiate Elocution Competition where Judge S. V. Nayak was one of the judges and chief guest. We have had other gra grand events. Next slide, please. We had the outbound trip to train our law student leaders in the Student Advisory Board, which closely collaborates with the college governance team to make the college governance uh, student friendly and uh, to register high student satisfaction rates. These had one year outbound, oh, sorry, one day outbound trip in a local location on leadership training and team building. We have had the panel discussion as part of the conclave, which was televised in Bloomberg Channel, uh, along with the collaboration of CII uh, on the Great Indian Dream I developed in India with the honorable speakers there. We have had the fifth national conference on contemporary legal scholarship, which has become an annual feature to encourage research and to feed our two journals, which we publish in-house. We have had even the cultural avenues open for students where the literary and the cultural activities highlight in the form of in-house and intercollegiate competition. Next slide, please. So next slide highlights two important community legal service program of ours. One is the Herbert Smith Free Hills Community Engagement Award, which I mentioned in the beginning, which was made possible because of our important activities in the district prison in Erevada, uh, both in the women's prison and the common prison. We have had very strong collaboration with the District Legal Aid Services Authority in terms of the court which is held in the prison every week. And we have held special medical camps in, the, in collaboration with the university's community legal uh, community service program called the SCOPE, where our sister institute, Symbiosis Institute of Health Sciences, under the leadership of Dean Raji Veribaker, was collaborating with us. That has registered a great 
right to health kind of protection dimension with the prisoners. Now, our community legal care center, as you all know, uh, has been uh, uh, typecasted or rather improved uh, in the lines of the most honored community legal service program of the City University of New York and many other best practices from India and abroad. Now this cell has held international commercial arbitration program which was run by the retired Chief Justice of Sri Lanka, Justice Mohan Perez. And we had our collaboration with the local NGO which acts as a refuge home for victims of domestic violence, women and children and our students do uh, insight learning with this NGO by looking at the case studies. We have been very proudly recognized and identified among the top government institutions. Mind you, we are private, but we are the only private institute among the top six institutions in Maharashtra by District Legal Aid Services Authority and by the 14th Commission's Aid, uh, Finance Commission's Aid, to run the legal aid clinic specially for under trial prisoners. So that's a great achievement. Our last few years of work has paid rich dividends. Among our international register, uh, visitors, we have registered many, but we would like to highlight Dr. Anna Marie Brennan, who is the consultant of the cha trial chamber in International Criminal Court in The Hague. Honorable Justice Mohan Pierce, who is the former Chief Justice of Sri Lanka. Dr. Tara, who is the Dean from Nepal's Tribune University. We have had Judge Christy Harrington, as I told you already, from uh, South Carolina. Professor James Kraska from the US Naval War College, among many that we have received this year. Now, before I conclude, I would like to showcase the world-class impact that our law school has had. And I should say that this would also pass on for all the symbiosis institutes for the excellence and the commitment and the service dimension that they reflect. Let me go to that slide and you may take a look at it. We have three respondents here whose quotes I'm going to present before you. Quote one is from Mr. Pavandukal, who is a senior counsel in Supreme Court of India and president of this firm called cyberlaws.net. And I quote, every time I come to symbiosis, I continue to be amazed at the unique approach to law teaching that the team has brought into implementation, unquote. Second is from one of the solicitors from Dubai who has visited us and she has collaborated with us in terms of some of the teaching and internships. She is Ms. Sunita Dalal, and this is what she has got to say, I quote, What a truly wonderful institution. I have been overwhelmed by the level of excellence of both the students and faculty. Truly visionary. I was truly humbled, unquote. And the last quote is from one of her alumnus, who is PhD, and she will be settling somewhere else now because of marriage, and this is what she has got to say, I quote, I found my calling at Symbiosis Law School, Pune. The forum which offers the chance to engage with academics at the forefront of cutting-edge research and to contribute to solving some of our global challenges. The place where you find the best minds to mentor you and best support to develop your academic interests." Today, Chaitra is also has had the honor of being the party fellow in Polis, Cambridge University, United Kingdom. That's what I got to share. And I welcome you once again to partake the wisdom, knowledge, and experience from our honorable speakers. Thank you one and all for your attention.